Are you not using ChatGPT yet? The artificial tool that is making even Google worried. This tool is amazing. It allows you to create amazing things that you would never imagine before, can save you time and make you money. So if you want to learn how to use this tool, stay with me until the end of this video. I promise you, by the end of this video, you will learn ways to make money with this tool, how to use this tool properly, not make the mistakes that I've seen in many other videos, and you will be able to take the most of this tool. So before we get started, if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go there and subscribe because it's for free and leave your like because I'm sure that you will not find content like that for free on the internet. Okay, so let's crack on this. I'm sure you're going to like this content, which is very, very special. Let's get started. Okay, you might be asking how you get access to this tool, to this amazing tool. All you need to do is type on Google Open AI, first link here, and this website is gonna open here for you. And you, as you can see at the top here, you have the option to try Chat DPD if you want. You can create your um, your login, but in this case, what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on here and try. So it's going to open this. Uh, this, this screen is going to open here for you. So you're going to, uh, whether you're going to sign up if you don't have an account or you're going to log in if you have an account. So it's very simple. You just sign up there. In my case, I'm going to log in, in and start using it. I've used my Google account to log in. You can do the same. So once you log in, that's what you're going to see. It's very simple to use and it's not very visual, but don't worry. I'm going to explain everything that you can do and that you cannot do with this tool, okay? So here on your left hand corner, you can see that you have a button to click on new chat. Every time that you click here for a new chat, you're going to be sort of talking to a new person. So the chat is gonna learn from you, from the prompts that you're going to insert. So um, as, as you can see, I have many chats in here that I was using before, I'm going to show you some of them. And down here, you have the option to clear the conversations. Uh, uh, if you want to clear uh, all your conversations, you have here light mode and dark mode. I always leave mine on dark mode. Here you have the open AI Discord channel that you can access, updates and FAQ and logout. Okay, here it's going to give you some examples of what you can ask. So explain quantum computing in simple terms. You can ask in this way. That's the big, the big, the big difference between the tool and Google. Google, you have to put keywords in here. You can ask just the way you talk. So as you can see here, uh, got any creative ideas for a 10 year, uh, 10 year old's birthday? You can ask that as well. How how do I make an HTTP a request in JavaScript, you can ask that as well. You can ask to create a code for you. And here it shows the capabilities. So it remembers what you said and uh, in earlier conversations. That's why when you start talking here, you create a conversation. It's as if you were talking to a person, to a friend, okay? Allows, allows uh, users to provide follow-up corrections. So the tool is gonna learn from you. Uh, train to decline inappropriate requests. So if you request things that is an inappropriate, it's trained to decline. And here it's a very important point that many videos don't show you. Okay, so so many videos out there, they will show you how to make money with the tool and things like that. But you have to understand that may, okay, okay, uh, like it says here, it's going to create uh, some incorrect information. Okay and also can produce some harmful instructions in the case like if you ask for fitness things and things like that and has limited knowledge of the world events okay but that's okay because the tool is super amazing i'm going to show you how we start using it to start using the tool you just need to click here and type something in this case i'm going to ask a very simple question and uh, you have to understand that how the, it depends how you insert your questions here your prompts that's that's how the outcome is going to be. You can ask multiple things, um, such as asking for a sum summary, a summary of book, or to explain something that you don't know. In this case, make me a summary of Star Wars, for example. Okay, so then it's going to make it very simple here for you. Just a, a summary of what Star Wars is. And if you want to keep going here, you can <laughs> just after it finishes, as you can see, it has opened a new chat. And after it, it finishes here, it puts the, a title on that chat for you to remember what it is. And uh, you can even go here and say, please explain 
it as if I were five, six. Okay, so there we go. Sure, Star Wars is a series of movies about good guys and bad guys in space. Look at that. It is just amazing. So differently from Google that you have to go there and put keywords and things like that. In here, you can go and put full sentences and you can ask things like uh, how to do things and also ask questions to translate things. For example, I speak Portuguese. That's my first language. I live in Ireland for many years. That's why I speak English. But in this case, let's say if I wanted to ask how translate this sentence. I'm going to put something in Portuguese. Okay, so then it's going to be I really enjoy using the Internet. It's fantastic. Okay, that's what I put in Portuguese in there. But you can do even more. You can go to a website, right? You can go to a website in Portuguese and get the, the URL of the website and just ask the tool to explain what is in there or even to, to make a summary of that. Those are a few things that you can use. You can use the tool to solve problems as well if you want. In this case, you can create create an app to search only for Canva terms on Google. Let's see if it does that. So it's explaining how the outline on how to create an app. That's not what I asked. So that's why it's important to ask things properly uh, so you can you can get the outcome. I'm not a programmer, so I'm not going to ask specifically how to create an app, but you can create an app. You can bring a code and ask it to solve the problem of that code which is really cool as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you another thing that you can do. You can do so many things like, let's say, uh, give me 10 ideas. And this is when we start talking about how to make money because you can get all this information and you can put this on Fiverr. You can put this on some other uh, places there that you can sell it. You can sell it for your customers, but just pay attention at what I'm going to say here don't do that just copy and paste it to your customer you're gonna have problems with that because i'm 100 percent sure that google is going to find a way to detect this if it was created by human or artificial intelligence so it's important to give your human touch on everything that you get from here okay so this is going to save you a lot of time and you are going to be able to create amazing things but put a human touch on it okay so let's go and give me 10 ideas um, of videos for a YouTube channel about fitness. OK, so the more specific you are, the better. OK, I, I'm typing here. It's not even correct. I put fitness, but even putting that in not in a correct way, it's going to give me the answer. Look at that. 10 minutes full body workout, seven minutes exercises. Look at that. How, how great that is. So many ideas. So then I can go here and uh, Tell me more about the idea number four. Look at that. How amazing is that? Look at that. You can even at the end in there. So you, you're creating full conversations because you were asking questions. Uh, so at the end of this explanation, you can even say, uh, create, create me a script about the number three idea with a call to action at the end and uh call to action at the end uh inviting them to subscribe to my channel okay let's see look at that there we go it's creating the entire script of that video so you can use that to create things for people and to make money in this way so these are just a few things you can do you can solve problems you can ask questions uh it can save you so much time if you create if you're a content creator Let's say I'm going to open a new chat here just so we can carry on on it. And I'm going to explain in a minute what are the limitations of this tool as well. But let's say create create a short copy uh, for a, an Instagram post for my customer. Um, he sells. I'm talking as if I was talking to a friend. He sells um, shoes and has a deal for the new year okay so that's what i wanted them to create let's see happy new year start off look at that there we go so you have the copy what you can do you can go there and just copy this paste somewhere else in canva or somewhere else and you can use canva docs just go there and change everything tweet 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 uh, just work on it change everything you need to change and send it over to your customer for example you can come here so many ideas that you can do for example here these are all in portuguese but i'm going to copy this those are ideas 
I was recording the same video in Portuguese as well because I have a channel in Portuguese. So I'm going to say here, translate it to English. Look at this. So it's translating it. So these are some things that you can guess. Blog articles, SEO, copy, email marketing, video script, book summary. But it all depends how you insert the prompt. This is very important. A lot of people ask very simple questions, but the more the, the level of detail that you input in the tool, it's going to bring you uh, more and more information. For example, if I want a blog article, I want a short blog article with 400 words about Canva and um, with a call to action to click on my affiliate link and try Canva Pro, okay? So that's just a short blog article. There you go. It's writing a, a blog article for me in just a few minutes. You could have a cup of tea here <laughs> and then you have a blog, a, a blog article there. You just go there and work on it do your personal touch and then you can use that on your blog. This is amazing. You can get, for example, and ask, please summary, summarize the book um, Atomic Habits by James Clear. One of my favorite books uh, in bullet points. OK, look at that. This is absolutely amazing. So it's summarizing the book in bullet points. Now, let's say that I have a YouTube channel and I wanted to get uh, these bullet points or this idea and transform that into a, for example, a shorts, okay, uh, YouTube shorts, create a YouTube shorts about the book Atomic Habits, create a YouTube shorts a script, okay, shorts a script about the book Atomic, Atomic Habits and add, let's say you, have on, you are an affiliate, a call to action at the end, invite people to get a free book from audible okay you've seen that probably so let's see look at that it's pretty amazing it gives you the text that you need to talk like let's say if you want to do a head talk or if you want to use that and copy this text and do your human touch like I said and put this into a AI tool to create the voice you can in this case it's quite like it's quite long but you can come here and say even better you can say please uh, you can say here uh please you don't need to be super polite but that's all right create a short video a script for a short video of one minute explaining the book atomic habits by james clear remember the more information you give the better so it's just a very short it's just a minute so it's creating uh, something that is timing it for you and is creating that there. So you can use for so many things like I show you up there. There are so many other things that you can use this tool for. I can see like so many opportunities and how this is going to to be. You, you will need to, to learn how to insert your prompts, but that's all. Other than that, the tool is going to create that for you and it's just amazing. So as you can see, I have a summary here. You can work on SEO, for example, let's say if you wanted to ask the tool, uh, improve this video title, okay? Uh, Super Course Chat DTP for free. Let's see. And then you say, give me, oh, look at that. Let's see. What are the options? Improve this video title. Mm, no, I'm going to ask again. Let's see. Improve this video, video title, uh, giving me more options, okay? giving me more options. There you go. So there you go. It gave me, it gave me so many other options. And then now I can say, write a short video description about chat DPT, um, focusing on the chat DPT word keyword. Okay. Let's see. There we go. That is amazing. You can go there and just, uh, work on it and use it as you want. And obviously, like I always say in here, put your human touch. And now we're going to talk very quickly about the limitations of this tool. OK, sometimes you were trying to work on something here and probably you're going to get an error message. All you need to do is to refresh your page and it's going to work. And if you see something that is wrong, it's not correct. It's important to come here and give it a feedback explain why it's not correct so you can train the tool as well and can help the tool get even better 
okay? Uh, sometimes when you type something, you're going to see two or three different options here for you. So let's say, give me 10 options to travel. Um, it, it's just amazing. Look at this. Give me, uh, I want to, look at this. I want to go to Ireland on a road trip. I'm talking as if I was talking to a friend. Any suggestions? I'm going to put in the wrong English as well. So it's going to give me some suggestions. There you go. And it's pretty accurate, to be honest, very accurate. And then at the end, let's say, sometimes it gives you more options here for you to click. So you can see the other options. It didn't give me the options, but you can regenerate the, the, the responses if you want. It's just absolutely amazing. So in this case, one of the limitations is that sometimes after using that, if you ask too many questions, too many requests, you will uh, need to wait an hour in order to keep going. So this is one of the limitations. OK, uh, you can even come here and ask, um, create a fitness plan for me. I'm 181, 92 kg, and I wanted to lose weight. I like riding my bike okay let's just see what it says there we go it's given me a fitness plan it's just absolutely amazing but at the end it's going to show you that it might be harmful or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure i'm just going to check if it's going to show you that there but sometimes it shows you that when it when it talks about health so it's very important that you don't resell it as if you're a personal trainer that is not going to help but uh, those are the limitations so you cannot ask like, uh, let's say, crazy things, harmful things, bad words and things like that. It's not going to work for you. OK, but it is an amazing tool. It's created by OpenAI and you can also connect your API if you're a software develop developer. And if you have a tool or something, you can, you can connect your API in here. You can come and check the, the, the docs. And here it has something very cool, which is like examples. So all the examples of things that you can ask the tool that you can uh, do with the tool so it's absolutely amazing and it's free so that's the future guys in my opinion and you also have other options here you can use open uh, day e uh, or day e i'm not sure you also have other options you can use this uh, tool here which is another tool that they have as well to create images so it's absolutely amazing. So if you like this video, please consider to subscribe to this channel. I'm sure that this video is going to add value to you. OK, and uh, if you want to know more, if you want to see more content about this tool, I will bring you more content as well. I hope you like it. I'd see you in the next video. Bye bye.